Guess what April showers bring? Hmm, mosquitoes. This time of year, outdoor activities are unavoidable, so what do you need to know to protect yourself from those pests? Dr. Sherry Ingraham with Advanced Dermatology is here to help us out. Good morning to Good you. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thank Doesn't you. it seem like there's always someone in the crowd who never gets bitten, and they're just like, what's all the fuss? What is that? Why are some people more susceptible? It's interesting. Since about 2014, we've learned more. So people who are blood type O uh -huh. get bitten about twice as often as so people who problem. are A or B. There you go. <laughs> Also, people who drink alcohol, and they don't know why alcohol is an issue, but we do know body size is an issue. Adults get bitten more. They put off more carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. So don't drink if you're outside. Don't drink so much. Well, you got to <laughs> balance it out. But right. people who actually exercise more put off more carbon dioxide and lactic acid. So larger, busy, active people. Also, we know pregnant women, their body temperature goes up. They release more CO2. They get bitten more often. So you need to be especially careful if you're pregnant, not only because of Zika, but because you're more likely to be bitten so we really need to take that and into we account. do need to really think about Zika I believe because Absolutely. people are traveling to Houston now they've been diagnosed with it all it takes is that mosquito to bite them and then that mosquito comes to us right so we do we do need to be careful what about products there are so many products you can get companies to come is there anything that you feel is, is tried and true and safe DEET DEET has been around since the 1950s it was actually derived by the U.S. military in the 40s. And so it's been around since the 50s. It's tried and true and tested and safe. And I tell my patients, look, we know DEET is safe. Mm -hmm. I know people sometimes have concerns it's a chemical. We also know that there are very well-documented cases of arboreal transmitted diseases right now. And so it's more important that we use these tried and true tested chemicals and prevent disease. DEET is basically based upon length of time of application for the concentration. So if you're going to only be outside for an hour or two, use a DEET of 10 percent or less. Mm -hmm. If you were going to be out longer, you need to go up into the 20s. You can also use picaridin, and picaridin is in what is in this cutter advance, and that's more of a European chemical. It is very safe, so you can use picaridin as well, or you can use oil of lemon eucalyptus if you want something with a more natural name. However, oil of lemon eucalyptus cannot be applied to children under three. Okay, children too. under two months of age, nothing should be applied to them, just long sleeves. And here's an idea, too. You can even make your own. You can use a little bit of citronella, some lemongrass, and peppermint oil, sort of put some Jehovah oil so that you, I guess, are able to put it on more easily. Yeah, Spray these two on. products I got at Whole Foods actually have that mixture in them. The only caution is they're not as effective. If you're going to go out for a few minutes, maybe, but if you're really going to be outside, especially with this Zika pending, I would use a deep base product. One big challenge I always get in with my children is that once they do get that mosquito bite, if one sneaks through the repellent, is that they are just scratching it, and I always worry about infection. What do you tell people who are just, oh, they just want to scratch? If you can't avoid the scratch, get a little plastic Ziploc bag, put some ice in it, and ice mm. it. It will decrease the spread and the depth of the histamine penetration, and they won't get that itches more. It's a counter irritant. Mm -hmm. Also, products with menthol. There's some over-the-counter products with menthol, over-the-counter steroids like Cordade. Immediately start applying that twice a day. If you get bitten a lot, you want to take an over-the-counter antihistamine like Benadryl or Zyrtec to avoid the itch, because really, people come to see us when they get infected. And I even put lavender oil on there sometimes and that seems yeah, to kind of help ease absolutely. the pain. Absolutely. What about when is it time to go to the doctor if you see any type of infection or something? Right. If you are the type of person who gets, sometimes we see people get a voracious response mm -hmm. to bites. They get a lot of swelling, almost like an allergic mm -hmm. response. Go to your dermatologist or if you see any weeping, yellow crusting, discoloration, anything that becomes painful or streaking that can be a sign of infection, definitely time to go see a physician. All right, Dr. Ingraham. Thanks for coming in from Advanced Thank Dermatology. You. We are ready for them. We're Just ready. bring it, Jose. <laughs>